Hello everyone, this is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports with another edition of Hollywood's Hot Topics. And as you may see, some things are changing. And one of those changes is I am going to be discontinuing the audio podcast on the YouTube page, which you are watching right now. Uh, I've been trying it for the last year and it's just really not doing the numbers I want and not working the way I wanted to. So going forward, you are going to see my pretty face on a regular basis. Got a cool man cave, sports cave type background. My championship belt. Um, you can see Maui from Moana because it's the rock. And uh, so my purpose with this going forward is to make it no more than 10 minutes. I know people have a lot of time on their hands and, uh, well, I shouldn't say that, not a lot of time. People don't have enough time on their hands. And I realize that the world is changing and attention spans are, you know, not as long as they used to be. So my goal is to make these Hollywood's Hot Topic videos 10 minutes or less. That way you can listen to what I have to say on my ramblings and we can uh, move forward. So, first topic out of the gate with the new Hollywood's Hot Topics. This is something I've been thinking about for quite a while, and it is restructuring the NFL year-end awards, otherwise known as NFL honors. You know, we're about midway through the football season, and each year during the halfway point, we start hearing MVP talks and who's the most valuable player. And I know there are awards out there for Offensive Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year. I get all that. But I would like to see football restructure and rename some of their awards. I feel like because there are so many football players out there, there needs to be a similar system like Major League Baseball. For example, Major League Baseball has the AL MVP, AL Cy Young, uh, the Silver Slugger Awards, the Gold Glove Awards, uh, all that good stuff. And some of the major awards are, um, you know, they're, they're split by the conferences or the leagues and terms of baseball so you have a national league mvp you have an american league mvp you know for the pitchers and so the equivalent to the pitcher for me in the nfl would be the quarterback obviously so here's what i am thinking this is how awards need to be set up typically every single year the quarterback gets the mvp boring we need to change this so I will say, keep an award for the quarterback, a specific award, like the Cy Young. So I would call it, instead of the MVP, uh, the MVQB, most val valuable quarterback. And there would be one from the AFC, one from the NFC. Now, I hate the award name player of the year that just doesn't sound doesn't even sound fun doesn't even sound great um i just um i don't like it so here's what i propose each conference afc nfc offense what is known as the offensive player um of the year we call it the Offensive MVP of the Year. And for that award, quarterbacks, not included. That award would be between, be between uh, running backs, tight ends, wide receivers. Quarterbacks have their own friggin' award. Let the three offensive positions have theirs. Um, another one. Uh, I hate, again, I hate the Player of the Year award. Sounds so generic and so boring. 
Uh, maybe let's start naming some of these awards after legendary players. There is a start right there. So, defense. Defensive MVP. AFC, NFC. Next one. Special teams. So we have AFC special teams MVP and NFC special teams MVP. And those award, that award would be decided between punters, kickers, punt returners, and kick returners. Because sometimes punt returners and kick returners are two totally different people. So, it would be those four positions and who had the most impact in, you know, that category. Or if you wanted to separate it, we would have, you know, um, kicking, punting MVPs or kicker of the year. So, no, again, I do not want to say player of the year, kicker of the year. We need more exciting award names. Lastly, rookies. Offensive rookie of the year. It's the only of the year that we're going to go with. It's kind of hard to say that they're an MVP when they're a rookie. There have been some cases. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year. They both happen in the AFC and NFC. Let's keep it that way. Now, I would like to see team awards. Because I believe teams, because sometimes we always focus on the individuals and not the team. So going forward, this is what I would like to see. Um, offensive lineman, defensive lineman, offensive line of the year for AFC and NFC, and defensive line of the year for the AFC and NFC. And again, I don't like of the year because it just sounds so generic and boring. And I know some of this stuff already exists. But I would love to see it be restructured and come up with names. Like, I'm sure, like, there's some legendary teams out there um, that had great offensive lines and defensive lines. Find a player that was a star player on those offense or defensive lines and name an award after them. It's not that hard. You see awards... You, I mean, look, for God's sakes, like, I think the NBA needs to change this. The NBA championship. Boring. Okay. Come up with a different name. World Series, great name. But they also, you know, they have better award names. Um, Super Bowl, awesome name. Love the fact that whoever made this decision years ago, quit calling it the NFL championship and called it the Super Bowl. That was amazing. Let's come up with a better way to acknowledge people's achievements, come up with better award names, and give some more people recognition. Because by God, there's over, what? Let me think. There's 52 men rosters and 32 teams in the NFL. So we're talking over 1,500 players. And a lot of them don't get the recognition and spotlight that they deserve. So let's do this. Get it going, everybody. And on that note, this has been Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports. Reminding you, as always, that controversy doesn't come without criticism. And be sure to check me out on all my social media outlets. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, because you're watching. And I hate to say this. Because I know I'm an older guy and it's popular with the younger generation. Follow me on TikTok. Thank you guys. Have a great night. Look forward to bringing you more videos in the future.
Yeah.